Hey, everybody. Okay, so first I'm going to make sure I'm live. So let's do that. And then I have to switch tabs and share my screen so that I can see. I'm just checking now. I just want to make sure that I'm live everywhere. Remember, if you're in the group, um, give StreamYard permission so that I can see. Okay, see myself. So that I can see your names because if I don't, if you're in the group, only the group, I don't know why it's just the group. Um, and you have not given StreamYard permission, then I can't see who you are and who's talking to me. And I love interaction. So please come play. Um, let, tell me where you're from. What's your name? Is it the first time here? And with that, I asked in my Facebook group, I'm going to um, come over here and share my screen and then pull um, a number. Okay. So I asked in my Facebook group, to give me numbers because we are going to um we're going to be surprised by all of this today so two oh 113 okay. so 113 i mean i'm going to move this and then we'll figure out how to stick that back in the camera i had it like higher and so I had the wider view and then it froze and now I can't <laughs> you see me struggling here now I can't find the camera because I had it came in it zoomed way in and it's my iPad so I don't know why it's I'm not even going to fight with technology so 113 is going to be our color palette today 111 let's hope it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one at least from what I can see there's our color palette so we're, and I, I'm new to jelly printing. I know that there's certain acrylics that most people use. Hold, please. I just want to get that off my paint table. But for me, because i just having fun is the whole reality behind it all. I'm going to try to find this again. Uh -huh. uh, we're just going to go with it, guys. You can yell at me to figure it. Nope. Let's go. Okay, uh, most of them, they use like the liquid text, like this kind of acrylic, right? It gives them um, longer drying times, more playing time on the plate. But because I'm playing with the um, cards, my color cubes here, I'm going to use the deco art because I have a multitude of those. And I have them all swatched out so that I can pretty much go and pick out my colors. So. Let's pull this off the plate. So here's all my swatches. And then we're just going to go find the greens. And literally, I'm going to flip it over and like probably look pistachio mint matches with pistachio. So I'll pull that from my drawer. We're going to find pistachio mint. I'm grabbing magic erasers to put in as a placeholder. Artichoke will be. Hmm. What do you guys think? Ooh. No. Hmm. All right, let's go with Hauser Medium. Let's find that one. There's Hauser Medium. So we're grabbing that. If you just arrived, I have picked the number 113 and I am going through colors i'm going through deco art terra coral i'm going through deco art and vintage pink because i have a multitude of them yeah. oh i can't find colors and talk at the same time terra coral and vintage pink those two and then gray we'll just pick any old gray no we can't just pick any old gray um, but so we've gone through, we've picked 113 from my color cubes, which has like 500 different colors. We're going to go with slate gray. Um, and this is our color palette. And we are just going to play on the jelly plate. I have made most of my own textures with um, foam and trash or what would be trash. Um, bubble wrap. I have. You guys, I even have, I saw this somewhere. We'll find the camera. It's a deodorant cap. So like the brand new cap off a of deodorant. And this makes awesome shapes. I have 
um, just, what is it, a putty knife, just a plastic putty knife. I wish I could put this somewhere where you guys would see what we're working on. Um, this was just packaging out of a box somewhere. I folded up. Do you remember as a kid, we used to fold up, or at least I did when I was bored in church. <laughs> I would fold up a piece of paper and then it was my fan when I was, you know, pretending to be hot in church because, you know, it was boring. And as, as a kid, church is boring. Then I have um, craft foam that has the backing. And then this one is a thicker. So I've just attached the, cut this out and attached this to the thicker foam. I've used um, tape, like masking tape as my handle. And then, yeah, just rolled up tape. So pretty much I have a bunch of trash and a bunch of different shapes. And we're literally just going to play um, there's no rhyme. There's no reason. I asked you guys to pick a color palette and there we have it. So we're just going to start now with this. I've learned again, I'm new to all of this. So if there's any tips or um, comments from you guys, let me know because this is all new to me and I like learning. I'm, I get stuck in learning. So this kind of learning is fun because it's play and you can't mess it up. Like you can't plan for these. You can try to plan for these things from what I've been experimenting with, but it doesn't always work out the way that you want it to. So um, I'm just gonna put my, that's the other thing, the deco art colors, you have to move faster because it's craft paint versus the actual um, Liquitex acrylics. And it dries a lot faster. I also have a bunch of junk on my edges here. And that does not bother me. It may bother you. And then if you do use the deco art paints, sometimes they beat up. And that's just the way it is. And I'm okay with that. Um, you just have to know how your paint behaves on your plate. So I'm just trying to be really quick. This one was really cool. I really liked this shape. It was some kind of patch to actually like this side. Some kind of packaging and something. I don't remember what. See all the shapes that it gave me. Um, let's try. This paper was really cool. So this was just a rolled up piece of paper. Hey, Wendy. Um, I won't tell your boss on you. <laughs> so it's just a rolled up piece of paper. And I'm just stamping. And then if you want to pull some paint off, like if it's continuing to leave and not pull up the paint, then you can stamp over off the edge. Um, just some wavy lines that I made with foam. And then so we're just going to stamp it here. And this one, I will pull off the edge over here. And then this guy, it's just a palette knife scraper. I really don't know what happened to my camera and why it's doing that to me. So now I need to figure out why it's so close. And I can't find you all. But just literally scraping the paint. Now, because it's dry, it's probably not going to pull up so much. So we might need to add another layer to it. We're going to find out. Just going to find out. That's what this is all about. And then on Friday, I am going live with the crafty DIYer, Denise. So if you um, follow her page, if you're not following her page, go follow her page. But we're just going to go live together and play on Friday. Yeah, see, but it's grungy and I like grungy. It texture is my thing. Um, and I'll pull a bunch of my collages. See, that one didn't even pull up at all. And then we'll just create with what I've got. So see, this was still wet. So we could pull that one up. But to pull these up, I'm going to use, I'm just going to use my white. That would be a good one. So this is what I would use on the background. We're just going to put a little bit of coat, a little bit of paint, if I can get it open. Hold, please. There we go. It's messy. We're just going to squirt a little bit. That's the other thing is you kind of have to learn like what's enough and what's not enough and what's too much on your plate. Because I don't want it to be super duper thick. But I want enough on there to pick up my colors. And the only reason I'm putting the white on there is to pick up the rest of these colors. We could. Let's try the paper. We'll get this in there really quick. Just give some little marks. And literally, it's just it's just play, you guys. You're just playing with it. You can't mess it up because you're not you're not going to be able to create with 
purpose. Yes, with purpose. Let me take that back. The jelly plate does what it wants. It will spread the paint. I'm trying to trying to find a good way to explain it because again, I'm still new at this. So I want to explain what's in my head. But see how that pulled the green? I really like that pistachio mint. And I would totally use that, this little piece. Um, also, you'll see <laughs> this was from a pencil from, from a mask that I made out of manila, manila folders. I just, you know, drew on them, cut them out, and that left. So I scribbled on the inside to make my mark so I knew what piece to cut out. That left the pencil on my plate. Not a big deal for me. It doesn't bother me. May bother you. So be aware of that. Be aware that I do like texture. I do like grunge. So I leave my plates dirty. We're just going to come over here and mix them over here too. Um, and that's the lighter pink. But for me, see, look at the color mixtures now. Now it's gonna, I'm gonna have the blobs where I left the paint. You can, I've got paper on the bottom. Let me stick and I'll show you how you can kind of see what's gonna happen. We'll flip it over. And this is kind of like a preview of what your paper will look like on the, on the one side when you pull it. These blobs are there because I didn't mix it, which is not a big deal. But I put that white down there so that you guys could see, because now you can't really see my plate. But you'll see all the extra white that I pulled up and you can see how I've mixed. Now we can come back on here with stencils. Let me put this back underneath my plate. We can come back in with stencils and layer on the top of that. Let me, I will find you. There we are. Um, to create patterns on the top of this. I just want that to dry for a second. And we'll find the gray. And I'll use this stencil for the top of that one. So we'll just hop over here. I need more space on my table. Now, when you're doing this, when, when you're normally painting, we think from the back forward. When you're doing this, you have to think from the front, the front backwards because what you get down first is what's going to come up first. And so that's kind of been interesting for me to kind of like think through my head of like, what do I want to see first? What do I want to see second? Because as a painter, as a canvas painter, as a crafter, I work the other way. I don't work back to front. I work front to back or the other, the other way. So this was the one I just pulled off and I'm just going to stick it back down here. And I am using what I have. Many of you have heard of my printer fiasco. So I'm using cardstock because it's what I have. And I have boxes of it because it was for my label. And so I just want to use it up. Um, there is deli sheets people use. See, that's kind of more, gives it a little bit more texture. I'm going to set that one down here. Um, deli sheets, regular printer paper, rice paper. I've seen people use all kinds of different papers. So just experiment with what you have. It doesn't have to, you don't have to go out and buy every single supply because most of the stuff on my table right now is either trash or it's something that I've had in my supply that I can create with. So we'll do, I really like that pistachio mint. Maybe we can layer some on this corner over here. Um, let's get some of the darker green next to it if we mix it. And do some of the pinks down in the corner. Let's see what we get with that. 
I don't know if this is dry. This is probably not dry. So it's going to mix because that gray layer is not dry. So we're going to see what we get. Okay, let's grab some cardstock. I didn't put any textures down because we had the stencil first. So this is just gonna go straight on there. And those colors that I just put down are gonna act as the background to the stencil that we just put down. If you want more of your paint to pull up, you have to wait for it to dry. So that's one of the other things is I've seen people work with um, two jelly plates. Obviously, my <laughs> my poor table is not big enough for two of them. I need a bigger table um, so I can't spread out. So we're kind of confined to this one little space. So we get to watch paint dry or we get grungy plates, which I really like. So here is the other one that we had. So this is one stencil. And this was the first pull from that same stencil. So here's the inside pieces, positive, negative. I never, I don't know which one's which. And then here, I actually like this one better because it's more grungy, it has more texture. There's a mixture of the colors within them all. Like you can see the pinks down here and the greens and there's some greens over here um, from the being on the plate that never got cleaned. While this one got mixed, like all the pinks and the greens in the background, I just brush rayered them on the jelly plate and then put the stencil and the gray on there. And so this is what we got for that one. So those are the two differences. Same colors, same stencils, same plate, different results. That's what I mean by you can't plan. You can try. You can... Um, Try to get a result that you want. You can think about the shape that you want to use. You can think about the marks that you want to put on it. Um, but it might not come out the way that you planned in your head. So be aware of that when you're playing on the jelly plate. Again, for me, this is all going to go into like um, art collage, mixed media, an art journal we're doing in uh, my Palette Posse membership. So it's all going to go into that for me. So to have a specific direction of where I want to go won't happen probably till I sit down and plan the page and then say, oh, yeah, I think I want some of that pistachio in there. Or I want, you know, I have one that looks like a watermelon and my 12 year old's like, hey, mom, that looks like a watermelon. I was like, great. Now I'm never going to unsee that because it looks like a watermelon. Um, let's do this deodorant cap. So just create, you know, different circles. And again, you kind of have to work fast with the deco art because it dries and then it will get stuck and you have to add another layer to pull it up. Let's see. There's two pieces here. This is called Baron, and it helps with the pressure on it. There are red ones, and I was like, dang it, I want a red Baron so it can be like Snoopy, you know? <laughs> it's only me, or are there people who remember that? <laughs> I didn't get a red one. Bummer for me. But that's how I'm gonna always remember what this is called, is Baron from Snoopy. I'm gonna set that to the side, and then we're gonna pull this up. You see that dried a little bit on my plate, which is not a big deal. Same colors, different results. You can come in here and if you're like me, you can scan it in, play with it in Procreate, make your marks on there. Or if you're also like me and have a hoard of craft stuff, 
you can use Sharpies or paint markers or stamps or inks or, I mean, the possibilities are endless with this stuff. So that's kind of why I'm really loving it is because you're always going to, I finally found something where I'm always going to be learning. So it's perfect for me. Um, and then over here, you wipe off your um, brayer. And then this can, if you do it right, if you, this you can do intentionally, like you can mark this end and then over here, and this can become part of the collage sheet. So always be creating. Let's, let's pull this. There's a lot of shapes and texture on here and I want to just pull it all. Okay, that one will let fit for a second. But here was our, if you guys weren't here for the beginning, that was the number that got pulled. I asked in the Facebook group, um, give me a number between one and 500 because that's, there's 250 cards in each box of my color box. And I have two of them. Um, so I use those on Procreate. That's where I first got them was she has a PDF and I use those on Procreate for color palettes. And they give you on the back here, they give you your hex codes and they give you tints and shades and all that kind of stuff um, for this specific color. So these, if you're serious about playing with color, like these are a really good investment. And um, they're actually kind of fairly cheap for, I think they were like $60 for the two boxes. I can't remember exactly, but they're really, they're totally worth it. So this is where we got our color palette was I just ran a wheel and we picked number that's sideways for you guys. We picked number, there we go, um, 113, which is really pretty. And it's like springy like for me. And you guys, it's not raining today. So we have spring. So let's see if this one's dry enough to pull everything up. No, but yes. It's not going to pull up the edges, which is fine. But I really like what it created. Pulling up some of that pencil still. So that's super grungy and I really like that. That can be used in all kinds of things. You can layer more on it. You can see it picked up the pencil from the mask that I created with the lid. It was just a regular old mechanical pencil from my kid's stash. But so that's what happened with that. And then this was, of course, the deodorant cap and then just the grunge from all the rest of the mask. Let's see. So we've got four papers. What else do we want to do? I'm going to try. I really like. Oh, you want to try bubble wrap? Bubble wrap's fun. Let's try the bubble wrap. Let's move all these out of the way. Let's put down. We have a big gray piece. I'm looking at my pieces to see what we have. We have a big solid gray from the stencil. Let's do a solid green. Let's like layer the green. So we'll do pistachio up here and then we'll do the Hauser medium down here. That was a lot. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to move, get me a new paper. Okay. This one's transparent on the plate. So that will be fun. This one's more opaque and we, we could blend them, but I think I'm going to leave them a little bit separate. So I'll go this way with, and this is just bubble wrap from a packaging. We'll just lay that down. And then I like these triangles. I like triangles a lot. And I'm just going to move, stamp it off over here. We'll pull this up. And then we could make sure there's no pencils on this one. Lay that down here and no rhyme or reason. I'm just like laying them. So we'll lay this on top. And then we'll do 
the vintage pink this way. And the terra coral this way. See what we get. They're very similar in color. See, that was still wet down there, so that moved some of our green. But because we masked, I pushed half of that off the plate. Because we put these shapes, we're going to get these shapes in our pool. I can get them up. So it pulled the green up, and then it's going to come in maybe, let's do gray there. I'm going to, okay, so the heat gun, I've heard people have used the heat gun on their jelly plates. Um, I'm going to say no. You can, if you don't have one, I've heard there's recipes online to where you can make these at home. I've heard they last like a week or two if you make them at home. And I bought mine at Michael's with my rewards and coupon, 25% off coupon, and I stacked them. Um, so I think this is an eight by 10 and at Michael's it was like $30 for this plate, but fan it. All of that to say fan it, don't use the heat gun on it to dry your paint. Let's see how well this goes. That's the other thing with deco art, the paint. It's just, it's not bad. It's just different than what everybody else uses on the jelly plate, which again, I don't really care. For me, it's all about play. Let's see what works and what doesn't work. Okay, now I want to pull all of those ones up. So I'm going to let it sit for a minute. And we can go back through. We've got one, two, three, four, five papers now with um, just that one palette. And then again, I just used, this one is just foam. It's just craft foam, super thin. I got these ones at um, Walmart. And they come with a sticky back, like my wood pieces. They come with a sticky back, so you don't have to glue. <laughs> Super awesome. And then the thicker one I got from Michael's. And then it's just uh, masking tape, like painter's tape, as my handle. So these were totally homemade. Did squiggly lines. I have polka dots. I have more over there. I have leaf shapes. So just use what you have around the house. That We use the deodorant cap. We have now used, um, this is Manila, so folder. And with all this paint, you can keep these and use these in your collage paper. So like I could totally, you know, rip this up or color it or whatever and use this as part of a collage paper now instead of the masking. Um, regular paper, which I have folded into a fan and then rolled, find the camera, and then rolled up. When I really, like, this one's probably my favorite stamp. Um, just rolled it up and then taped it with scotch tape and then just dab and pull up the paint. This one I've used a couple times. There's got to be a technique to it. So I'm going to have to learn this one a little bit more, whether you can go like this or, you know, move it around. Uh, bubble wrap. We just used bubble wrap. So I think this bubble wrap needs to be retired because it's kind of flat. <laughs> so I need new ones. I'm waiting for somebody to get a package. Hopefully they get the big ones because I want the big bubbles. And then um, this is packaging from a box of some sort that came in because we get all kinds of parts and pieces for cars. So I just yanked it out of somebody's box and super love this side of it. This side was a little bit different, but it didn't get the effect that I like. I like this side. It pulls more of the paint up. So I like that. Oh, and I had a lotion cap over here. This would probably be really cool to create um, circles. And I it's indented, so I'm betting it's going to leave just the rim when you do that. So I'm going to pull this. This should be dry enough to get something out of it. And again, I'm just using, it's 64-pound weight cards. They clay, they say it's card stock. It's not card stock, you guys, but 64-pound weight paper um, because I have tons of it. So you can see the green, the pistachio greens were our first layer that we stamped, right? And then we put the bubble wrap right here. And then I put the pinks on there. So we've got the two different greens. There's a darker green. There's a lighter green. And then we've got the two different pinks this way. But you can't. they're so close, you can't tell them apart. 
And then we have the masks right here, which is just the, the manila envelopes. And we pulled that up and that is what we got from that one. So in what, half an hour, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different collage papers that we can use in an art journal or um, as the artist trading cards or as just a regular greeting card. I'm gonna pull them all up. See if I can hold, you. I'm probably too tiny in that screen. But so we've got this one with the deodorant caps and the background was white because I wanted to pull all the paint off of that. So I used white. This one was with a stencil that I did cut. Um, pinks and greens mixed in the background. I'm not too fond of that one. That one needs something else. I don't know what it is. This was just my brayer off sheet. So I just you know rolled off the brayer on here. Uh, deodorant cap again with pistachio, the grays and the pinks. This is another brayer sheet. And then this was the last one. And then we have this one here, which has a mixture of all the colors and it's super grungy, but you can kind of see like where it wasn't dry versus because it's kind of pulling. It's interesting. There's just really interesting textures. You can kind of see like I will find you right here. It looks wet and like it pooled. So that was kind of cool. But those, in 30 minutes, we have seven different sheets that we can use in art journals or on um, an art collage piece or as cards, as trading cards, as fodder, as, all. I mean, just so much that you can do with the and you can get lost in playing with, you know, testing out shapes and colors and paints. That's why I was like, tell me a number, you guys. <laughs> um, but so that was our first one. If I can get, you guys are sideways, so I have to remember to set things sideways. Um, on Friday, so on Thursday, I am doing, I'll be painting the, um, my sunshine. It's this one, let me pull it up. It's a truck kit. So come hang out with me on Thursday at 10 a.m. and we'll paint this one. And then on Friday, um, I'm gonna go live with Denise from the Crafty DIYer. And if you don't follow her page, hop over there, Crafty DIYer, follow her page and come hang out with us. We're literally just gonna chit chat, get to know each other a little bit more. Um, we just met this year in February, February. And so we're, we're gonna get to know each other and our crafts and everything a little bit more and we're just gonna play. So there's no plan or anything to that one. So just come hang out, conversate, and let's have fun. Um, but let me know if you have any questions. This is kind of the backgrounds um, that I have in my uh, Palette Posse membership. And the doors are closed right now so you can't get in. There's just, it's a select few in there right now. And we're just playing and we're conversating and we're getting to know each other on a deeper level as crafters, as friends, as all kinds of things. So um, later in June, it'll open up again. And if you want in, you'll have to get on the wait list that is not created yet, but it's coming. So just be forewarned that there's more coming to this and there's a purpose behind what I'm doing. So um, Thursday, 10 a.m. That's where I'll see you right here. Bye, guys.